There's five things that creatives face, five challenges that are holding them back from their success. And you also might be facing one or more of them. So let's look at them and let's look at how you can also overcome them. Welcome back to the Lionscape channel, channel about drawing and creativity. This is Sonia. Hello. I'm Gasper, and today we have a great topic for you. I'm excited. Yeah. On social media, recently we asked you what are your main struggles you're facing on your creative path. So today we're going to highlight five of them and give you tips how to overcome them. But before we dive into that, we've got something exciting to share with you. Yeah. For months now, we've been preparing something and we wanted you, our community, uh, to have the first access to it. Mm -hmm. So join us for the live stream that's going to take place at 12 p.m. Eastern Time on YouTube and Instagram. And the date? 24th of September. Exactly. So keep an eye out on our social media as we're going to unroll that in the next weeks. And yeah, hope to see you there. So the creative struggles that we're going to cover today are the gap, the perfectionism, the procrastination, um, the plateau, and the so-called imposter syndrome. Oh, the big five. Yeah. So let's dive into them and see if you might be uh, facing one of those. Number one, the gap. This might be the only thing that's holding you back and frustrating you. Yeah, and it's important to understand what it is. And at the best, we can best explain it. This is a concept we heard by Ira Glass a long time ago, and it's beautiful. Um, when you start learning a new skill, whatever it is, let's say painting, um, your theoretical knowledge develops much faster. You know, you get exposed to all the good stuff, you learn it in art school, and you know how it should look like, but your skill doesn't develop that fast. So the time where your theoretical knowledge and your taste um, and your skill don't match is called the gap. Yeah. So how to overcome the gap? First of all, be patient and then don't compare yourself to others, but to you from yesterday. And just keep on doing what you're doing. And if you want to hear more about the gap, we made a video about it. Right. And we'll link it up there and you can check it out in depth. So number two, perfectionism. That might sound like something good to have, like I'm a perfectionist, sometimes sounds positive. <laughs> but actually it can also be a problem, right? Mm -hmm. It can be something that's holding you back from creating. It can be something that's keeping you from publishing it's actually stifling your productivity. So if you wait for something to be perfect, you're never going to finish it, do it or publish it. Yeah, there's also this um, great quote by um, Gary Vee. Perfectionism is insecurity in disguise. Mm, but what does that mean? Yeah, well, I think it means that you're probably unsure of the things you do and yourself and you think too much what others will think about it. And that's why you keep working on that thing and you know keep being a perfectionist. So you might want to look at that issues and you know those fears if you want to get rid of your perfectionism. Mm -hmm. And there's also a very nice quote, what can you do about it? And it's done is better than perfect. Yeah, we learned that one from Peter McKinnon. And another one I heard that I really liked is you have to glow before you shine. <laughs> yeah, okay, but what are the tips that we can give you? So first of all, tip one is ask yourself, who are you to judge what is good and what is not? Mm. There were so many famous artworks um, that were created by people who thought that they weren't good enough or the artworks weren't good enough and they almost didn't publish them. For example, the Coldplay song, Clocks, Coldplay almost didn't include it on the album because they thought it isn't good enough and then it became a huge hit that we know it. So just put your work out there and let the audience judge it. The second tip that we can give you is that 
you should switch the tools, maybe do some abstract work, something where you can just let loose and just, yeah, not be so small and detailed about it. Tip number three, procrastination. So how do you recognize that you're procrastinating? You find uh, better things to do, better. <laughs> um, you find some chores you need to do. You don't have time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically yesterday you said tomorrow. <laughs> yes, exactly. So what is actually procrastination? Procrastination comes from fear. Mm -hmm. Fear of failing. Fear of what others will think of your work. Maybe you're even afraid of succeeding. So uh, we would suggest looking at those fears closely and um, if you recognize one of those, you might have a way better chance of overcoming your procrastination. Or the second reason could be lack of motivation. Yeah, and how do you get motivated? Yeah, so find what's your goal, find your vision, think about that. What would you like to accomplish and achieve? And if the goal or the vision is strong enough, then probably you can also follow through. And one small thing also helps with that, supports the motivation, and that's a daily routine. You know, if you always have a time in a day when you do your creative work and you just repeat it every day, or maybe it's once a week, it's just important that it's regular, then you'll have a much better chance of actually doing it and you won't procrastinate because you will be forced by your schedule to do it. So, challenge number four, the plateau of stagnation. That sounds so serious. <laughs> it's not so bad. Um, basically, how to recognize you're standing on a plateau. If you're feeling that you're not improving in your skills, if you're feeling that um, you're not moving at all, that you're basically stagnating, that is where you can think about, um, am I actually on this progress plateau? And why is that important? Um, it's a huge pressure, there's a huge pressure from the society, from our society, that is obsessed with growth and improvement, and growth and improvement, <laughs> um, to always be improving. So, if there's a time where you're not improving, um, it's very frowned upon. Right, and progress is not linear. It's made of jumps and plateaus. It can be that you're just standing on a plateau right now. And if you don't think that you're moving at all, then maybe you're missing the big picture. And the tip number two is that if you're thinking that you're not achieving the stuff that's important to you right now, compare yourself to yourself from three years ago. What have you achieved since then? And you'll probably realize all the improvements you've made all the jumps you made and once you see this big picture you realize you actually are moving forward. Number five, the imposter syndrome. Do you feel like a fraud or maybe that you're not good enough and that you got there where you are just by pure luck? Yeah, if that's if your answer with yes, mm. you just might have the imposter syndrome. Mm. And the imposter syndrome is very common with people who already have achieved something by don't seem to recognize that. So yeah, how do we overcome that? First of all, learn how to appreciate yourself. Figure out that you're amazing the way you are and ask your friends and family, basically people that you trust, what's so amazing about yourself. Yeah, that's a very good exercise and you already tried it out, right? Yeah, and that helped me a lot. All right, so do that to overcome the imposter syndrome. Okay, we already said we're gonna give you five of the possible things that might be holding you back, but here's a bonus one, a sixth thing that is a challenge for most creatives and, and might be holding us back. And this is <laughs> impatience. <laughs> we know you want it. We know you want it all. We know you want it now. We want it all. We want it now, but we have to be patient. Yeah, because you know that Rome was not built in a day. Yeah, and to serve you another quote <laughs> is also, patience is bitter, but its fruit is sweeter. 
but Aristotle. Yeah. Yeah, some thousand, couple of thousand year old wisdom right there for you. <laughs> so be honest with yourself. Have high goals, but they need to be achievable. Yeah, you have to be patient because it will take time to achieve them. And the second tip we can give you is fall in love with the process. Have a goal, but don't aim for the goal. Actually aim for loving and enjoying the process. This will make every day enjoyable, bearable. You will keep going and you will reach your goal without even knowing. So to recap, first we have the creative gap. The second one is perfectionism. The third one is procrastination. Then we have um, the plateau. And the fifth is the imposter syndrome. And the bonus one, impatience. So let us know if you recognize any of those. Are any of those your challenge? Yeah. And did you develop any coping mechanisms and what are they? So let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Stay tuned for our announcement and tune in on September 24th at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Really excited to share the news with you because it just might help you also with those challenges we were just talking about. So, you know what to do. Keep on drawing and stay creative. Bye-bye.